But it just felt easier bringing a really large one, even though it's super heavy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Right, prepare yourself guys, get ready for the beast of all suitcases. Bring her in. What? Look at the size of that beast. Look at it. It's absolutely gigantic. It's probably taller than you, Sienna, isn't it? Look at the size of it. You know what this beast gave birth to? Your suitcases, guys. It did. Look. Look, Look at these little babies. The size difference. Do you know who this suitcase is for? Karma. It's all for her. You're packing heavy, Karma. <laughs> you are packing heavy, aren't you? We're packing light. Look at these little slimline ones. Then look at this beast. It's an absolute monster, Karma's isn't it? Though. When she goes away, she has to bring all her stuff with her. You're a gangster, aren't you? Do you know the funny thing, though? That is literally just a regular suitcase. All it is is because the other ones are little tiny carry-on yeah. ones, Usually aren't they? when we travel, we like to have a carry-on. It's just a lot more quicker, easier, and we just like to go light. But obviously, we've just had a baby, so now we have to take a lot more than we usually want to. So, guys, you can come and see what is inside me and Karma's suitcase. This is going to be exciting. Oh, yeah, and also, I have a carry-on here as well, which is actually not that of a small backpack either. It's quite big in itself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, full of nappies. Right. You've changed our lives, Karma, for the better, but now we have to pack a bit more. What's good, Fizz fam? Or welcome back to the channel. Let us know what is good about your day in the comments section. What is good about my day is that we're going to be going to the airport today. We're obviously not going to be flying today. We're going to be flying tomorrow morning, but we thought we'd get there nice and early so we didn't have to get up super early. Obviously, the baby's waking me up in the night still. I'm very sleep deprived, so any extra sleep I can get really counts, especially before a long flight. So I'm now going to show you what is in my suitcase. Well, me and Karma's suitcase. I was a little bit reluctant at first with getting a big one because it just feels like extra baggage. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> but I have decided we are going to be like we've obviously moved out of a house. We don't actually have a home as yet, so I didn't want to like get rid of loads of things and then have to like get loads of extra stuff. Even though when we get to the US, we are going to have to buy a few extra things. Which if I come across it in my suitcase, I'll tell you about. But it just felt easier bringing a really large one, even though it's super heavy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so I'll take you through my side first of all. Here, it's, it looks quite messy actually. I had to quickly really pack it before we filmed this video, like in a rush. So we've got our hair straighteners. We've also got a travel um, hair dryer as well, which is super powerful actually. It's dried my hair really nicely. Good find out of this. And then in here are all like my clothes and stuff. So here is like a bag full of knickers and socks. You don't obviously need to go in there and have a look. I like to keep them all organized in these bags then you kind of know like where things are. Like knickers and socks, they can all get lost and stuff. However, I have actually put two pairs of thick socks in my trainers to save some storage space. So these are what Daddy Fizz calls my football boots. No, they're not football boots. These are actually like my running shoes, my workout ones, my hiking. I'm going to go for loads of hikes in Hollywood. So I like to have some nice, comfortable ones. And then I haven't actually got them on at the moment, but I have a pair of trainers which I wear all the time. They're more like my everyday trainers. They're in the hallway and I'm going to be wearing them on the plane. So I usually try and wear one pair of trainers rather than like say a pair of flip flops. If you wear your flip flops, then um, you've got to put your trainers or your shoes in here and it takes up more space so that's my little tip for you keep flip flops in the suitcase and wear your biggest heavier shoes talk about flip flops in here I actually have a pair of flip flops well I, they're not actually flip flops they're sandals flat ones I don't actually usually wear heels you see guys I used to when I was younger and I really like flat shoes so I like to have a pair of like really pretty sparkly ones so then I still feel fancy but then I'm comfy but saying that I do actually have a pair of like these knee high boots. I actually bought these before I was pregnant. I really love these. And I was debating on whether to give them to a charity shop or not, but I feel like I will wear these a lot when we're away and stuff. So these are like my fancy boot shoes, but I don't actually own a pair of like heels. So if we have to go to an event or me and daddy fizz want to go out on a date, I may buy like a pair of fancy shoes wherever we are and then I can wear them for the date. And then what we like to do is like we like donating back to a charity shop so you kind of recycle like your clothes and shoes. Or if I really love them, I'll keep them if I can fit them in here. I'm planning on like obviously not having to like go into an extra suitcase if that makes sense when we're like traveling and moving about it'd be nice if this could be me and Karma's and if we could downsize that'd be amazing but I don't want to have to like get another one unless it's obviously really essential it's just nice not to have to worry about loads of bags when you've got three kids to keep an eye on as well and you're trying to vlog it can be quite hard I've got my jacket here this is actually faux leather by the way guys if in case any of you're gonna get worried about it this is like quite a nice thin jacket but it keeps you quite warm because it keeps the heat in and so then I can put this over dresses or whatever but then I don't need to bring a big bulky coat with me however if we 
go somewhere really, really sunny, I may have to buy a coat for that or like borrow one or somebody. But this is just perfect for like more normal climates or perhaps a little bit hotter, especially in the evening. And that goes with everything. So it goes with casual stuff and like leather jackets can go with like really smart stuff as well. So that's why I really love that as a staple. And then here I have all my sports stuff or my hiking or my comfy stuff. So I've obviously just had a baby, Carmen's three ah. months old, and I'm at this really weird transitional stage where I haven't completely lost all of my weight. So I'm not in my pre-pregnancy size at the moment. I'm almost there and I'm not obviously in my maternity stuff. What I really like wearing at the moment is really comfy stuff. And then when I lose the extra little bit of weight, then I'll be able to kind of wear more jeans and stuff. So I've got loads of comfy vests here, leggings and like, fitness jacket and stuff but I, I've always worn fitness stuff anyway guys as you know I, probably, I mostly live in fitness stuff anyway so this is for hikes working out and just feeling really comfy in over here I have all my sports bras nursing bras I still have to use those at the moment breastfeeding and then there's a bikini in there as well I've got one nighty there which is just perfect to chill in in the evenings or obviously to go to bed in as well here I have got another pile of clothes like baggy t-shirt dresses nursing dresses really super comfy oh and I've also got some of the treasure other leggings these are the be yourself ones from the be yourself range which there's only one day left now guys one day Ooh, left we'll grab yourself some of the be yourself clothing show the world that you're being yourself that you don't care what other people think of you and all that you care is that you're happy and you're doing what you want to do in your life so you can go and grab those now at treasureothers.com and then i've also got oh look what i've got here daddy fizz will be proud of me i've got a little exercise band so you tie this around your legs you can do some squats and stuff tone up your little booty um, <laughs> that sounds so booty anyway over here i've got some more clothing i've got some be yourself treasure others um jog and bars which are covered in fluff by the way there's so much fluff in this apartment i feel like there's a cat here but there isn't got some shorts just got some other clothing there i'm probably going to end up buying buying some extra clothes when we're there as i lose weight and stuff and then i'll give these i feel like in the us i've got loads of clothing banks so that's what i'm going to do because obviously it's a bit it's a bit weird like going away when you've just had a baby because you're kind of thinking of like she's basically karma's growing out of loads of stuff i'm kind of growing out of loads of stuff so we're just going to take it one step at a time um in here i've got some sanitary stuff got some aloe vera gel sun cream some cotton pads just like boring essentials and over here is basically <laughs> my makeup and then karma's clothes weirdly enough guys i didn't actually when we last went away and we moved abroad i didn't hardly bring any toiletries because we only had carry-on but then i've just like collected so much makeup since we've been doing youtube i love wearing makeup now and then a lot of toiletries um were over 100 meals so i thought i'd bring in a suitcase which you put under the plane so i may as well keep all these and this is actually what's making the suitcase weigh loads you'll be so surprised how your makeup and toiletries take up so much room and, and weigh so much here it's all my makeup there and then in here i have loads of toiletries and samples i've been given loads of samples there which will be really really handy toothpaste etc in here is all my makeup brushes and some powders give a woman the right makeup and she can conquer the world i love that and then also got some b12 patches which are for energy and they're actually soaking wet for some reason that might mean something's leaking i better check that out in a moment guys got some actually these are like washable reusable sanitary protection as well i'm going to be using them got some more vitamins here which we didn't use up before we went away and these are really handy um this is really good for um reducing stress so if you just had a baby getting no sleep this can like really this can help your body like fight the stress and b12 is really good for energy I've got loads of those in here is a really cute little bag which i bought which came with a vest top and it says k and obviously k for karma and in here is like all her socks it's got a little rattle which one of you guys gave her thank you so much really sweet some headbands some little dummies in here and then some little snuffle babe just in case you can't breathe when we get there from the flight we've also got a baby on board sign for when we go in a beast of a car in the us so other drivers know we've got a baby in the car probably wondering what this is this is a little light which is really great for your breastfeeding so you plug it in and at night time you just tap it and it turns on it's a really low like non-blue light like kind of light or cozy and then you can see what you're doing like you can feed your baby and then you just tap it and it comes off so this is like an essential i really wanted to bring this and then i've got a bag with loads of bags in it because there's like a couple of little like handbaggy stuff in there and then in here this is actually a bag we've got given on another flight with all like toiletries in it but this has actually got all like loads of jewelry hair bands and stuff in got my engagement ring which by the way some of you were like why doesn't she wear that anymore there's no like conspiracy behind it it's literally just because when i was pregnant it didn't fit me anymore my fingers swell they've just got so swollen and then ever since karma's been born i'm really worried i'm going to scratch her face with the diamond 
So I'm just gonna wait until she's a little bit older. And here we have all of Karma's clothes. This looks like a lot of clothes for a little baby, but she as well is in a transitional transitional stage with clothing. She's three months old. She doesn't fit in not to three months, and she doesn't really fit in three to six months. They're quite big for us. It's really like hard to get her dressed at the moment. So I've got like a mixture of different sizes, and a lot of these I actually bought when we did the baby clothes haul. Those of you guys probably watched that, and I said that um, I wanted to buy her loads of summery stuff in the summer, ready in time for winter, which sounds strange but I knew that we'd like maybe would be traveling in the winter we tend to do that a lot we tend to chase the sun in the winter so I ended up buying her loads of stuff in advance preempting that we would be in the sun because obviously in the UK at the moment they don't sell summery clothes or winter stuff so I've got her loads look, I've had to buy loads of packs of baby grows and vests and things like that and she's just got like a little look at this guys a little swimsuit how cute is that so she can have a little swim it's so adorable it's ready to you wear your swimsuit karma she's really excited yeah, yeah you are yeah, and I just have to show you this as well. I picked this up in the sale as well. This little, um, I don't know what you should call it, what you would call this, but it's so cute. Yeah, so you can imagine her in the sun wearing this with little crabs on it. So she's got loads of summery stuff in here, and obviously she's got some practical stuff like some warm, like little track suits and cardigans, and there's like a little waterproof jacket in here. But her stuff, it really surprised me that it, I honestly am so surprised I'm only managing to fit everything in here. I thought that, like, we literally gave so much away to charity shops and like recycled so many things that I just thought that we didn't have a lot, but we actually do have a lot. It's surprising how much a family can build up. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed looking around in my suitcase. Oh, I have forgotten one thing, actually. I didn't show you this. I have my carry-on backpack, and in here, I won't bother getting it all out. There's a big pack of nappies, because obviously we're going to be going on like a 12-hour flight. I've got baby wipes in there. I've got my take-on toiletries. It's got like makeup wipes in there, and, you know, like moisturizers, lip balm. And then I've got a magazine in there to read. I've got my phone, my battery charger. Let me have to see what else is in there. And of course, the sick blanket. So if Karma's sick, we've got this little cloth to wipe it up with. Unfortunately, I don't have like an anti cry baby thing, something to stop the baby from crying. So I'm just gonna have to try and like really amuse her with um, Derek the dragon. I just thought of something. Yeah? Right, top tip, Fizzfam. What we've been doing is playing white noise on YouTube. You get all different oh, white yeah. noise things. I was just thinking what we need to do, because we won't have internet access, we need to download one of them. Oh, that is perfect. Yeah, so I think with YouTube Premium you can download, can't you? Yeah. So white noise, but, look up white yeah. like white noise for babies. It works wonders on them, they love it. Yeah, ba like Karma is it's just a normal, happy little baby, but she obviously does get quite bored if like we're sitting in the same spot. So I'm probably gonna have to do loads of, loads of loops on the plane, but we're actually gonna be filming that guys, documenting the plane journey. So <laughs> keep tuned and look out for that video if it goes well or it doesn't go well. Or I don't know how it's, how it's gonna go. Do you know what, I'm just gonna go with an open Mine and obviously not get too tense and uptight about it because if not she'll just that'll just rub off on her and that probably will make her feel agitated and upset so this is it guys and we're now about to leave this apartment and go on to I don't know the next little chapter of this big giant chapter and that is going to that is going to the airport and um, we're all just waiting for me to pack this up and go aren't we <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so that's gonna be the end of this video guys we're actually about to start another video straight after this because we weren't able to record yeah. yesterday so we're doing two back-to-back -back, but we're about to be leaving here, heading to the airport. So it's pretty exciting time. Yeah. Got all of our stuff lined up there. Don't forget, there's one day left. If you want to join the Treasure Others movement, grab a be yourself item of clothing. There's either tees, hoodies, leggings, joggers, bags. That the whole lot, even the chinchilla stuff, uh, sold even out. the chinchilla stuff sold out. <laughs> yeah, so, head over to treasurehubs.com if you want to grab some of that. Also, if you're new around here, click subscribe, join the fist time to make videos all the time. Our intention is to make you smile. Hopefully, this video has made you smile in certain places. We'll see you again in about five minutes, 24 <laughs> hours, not sure. See you in a bit. Thanks for watching.